So this is a very important aspect of this reaction. This is not a minor afterthought. It's important. By the way, is this substitution, elimination, or addition? Uh, addition. Yeah, what is an addition reaction? The best definition of an addition reaction is a reaction that removes a pi bond. Adding, to, adding things to remove. That's a better definition. A best definition of an addition reaction is adding two groups to remove a pi bond. You can see now that we don't want to just say that addition is turning a double bond into a single bond because it could also be turning a triple bond into a double bond or a single bond. So the best definition is adding two groups to remove a pi bond. Well, that's what we're doing here. We're adding the two hydrogen groups to remove one of the pi bonds. So this is an addition, and it's a syn addition. So it's important to have in your notes that this is a syn addition. That should be easy to remember because it's a hydrogenation using a metal catalyst. And hydrogenations with metal catalysts are always syn additions. Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. So if we're an organic chemist, what lesson would we take from this so far? Well, an organic chemist would say, what can I do with alkynes? One thing I can do is I can hydrogenate them all the way to an alkane using a normal hydrogenation on a normal metal catalyst. Or, suppose I just want to stop with an alkene. Well, then I could hydrogenate, with, hydrogenate this with this cool Lindlar catalyst, and that will stop with just an alkene, but I need to make a note that this will give me the, the cis alkene or the syn addition. So what would be the next question that an organic chemist would ask themselves? How do you the yeah, that's right. Thinking like an organic chemist, we should ask, how can we stop with the alkene but do an anti-addition? How can we do a single anti-addition? Well, there's a way to do a single anti-addition as well. This is called sequential one electron, reduction, uh, one electron reduction. Let's go through this mechanism together. This isn't called a hydrogenation anymore. Let's see. Well, in a sense it's hydrogenation because we are, are adding, adding hydrogens. I don't know whether it's conventional to use the name hydrogenation for it. Let's see. Just Na or NaH2? Just Na. Just Na. We'll see how that works in a second. It seems like it would be logical to still cause hydrogenation because we will be adding hydrogens, but that might not be conventional. Maybe hydrogenation is reserved for these hydrogenations with metal catalysts. Anyway, the important thing is that it's an addition reaction that's adding two hydrogens. So let's go through the mechanism. Now here we have sodium. This is just a neutral sodium. I think this is the very first time in the class that we've been dealing with neutral sodium. All this time previously, we were working with sodium cation, right? Um, why is it that it's much more common to work with sodium cation than neutral sodium? Sodium, you know, is from the first column, the leftmost column of the periodic table. So sodium really is eager, so to speak, to lose an electron. Sodium is very easy, easy to take an electron away from. It's very easy. So does sodium like to gain or receive an electron? Does a, does a neutral sodium like to gain or receive an electron? Give, give away. I'm, I'm misspeaking. Did I say, does it like to gain or receive? Trick question. I got you. No, I should have said, does it like to gain or give away an electron. It likes to give away an electron. So is neutral sodium a reducing agent or an oxidizing agent? Oh, that's kind of a hard question. But remember that a uh, reducing agent gives electrons away. Okay, you probably won't be testing on that terminology. But anyway, here we have our sodium. The neutral sodium has one valence electron. Neutral sodium has one valence electron. And we know that it wants to give that away. So let's show what would happen after it gives that one electron away. So Could you show the arrow 
Not really. We don't normally show, so there is no arrow mechanism for this step in the book. So we're not going to worry about the arrow mechanism here. This is a little bit different from anything we've seen before, so we're not going to show the arrow mechanism. I guess, well, just for the heck of it, I suppose the arrow mechanism is kind of like this. Well, but let's first of all say it works, and then I'll briefly show the arrows. What's happening here is the sodium is going to give an electron to one of these carbons. And the result then is that we're going to break up this pi bond. One of the electrons will go to join this one. So here, these two electrons, this electron came from the sodium, and this electron came from the pi bond. And that left an unpaired electron over here. So we really shouldn't worry about the electron pushing uh, approach here. That doesn't really apply. We took this pair of electrons. We put one electron on the left and one electron on the right. And this electron on the right was joined from the electron that we took from the sodium. So that will give us then the normal sodium plus. Remember, sodium likes to give up an electron. So it gave up its electron here. There's really not much percentage putting in electron pushing arrows here. Um, so we'll just say that these electrons split up. And then this carbon here gained an extra electron from the sodium. Is it still attached to the stuff on the sides? Yes. Oh, OK. I believe that the one on the right is going to be the one with two electrons. It doesn't make a difference. So oh. it's just arbitrary. Doesn't it kind of make a difference? Because the thing that you're doing isn't it's like symmetrical. It's only going to have one. The next step, pretty soon, we're going to get, gain another electron. As we go along, we'll see it doesn't matter who you attack first. We'll see as we go along, it doesn't matter who we attack first. Now, the important thing here, however, is how do we think these substituents will arrange themselves, cis or trans? Trans. Why trans? Because trans is more stable. Because <laughs> trans is usually better than cis, right? Why is trans usually better than cis? Stare, Stare yes. kindreds. This substituent and this substituent would get in each other's way if they were cis. So if they have a choice, they're going to form the trans arrangement. This is important. This is the key to why this is going to give us a trans addition over here. So if we add one electron at a time, the big substituents here are going to arrange themselves trans to each other for stair kindred's regions. So that would give us uh, that step. All right, now I'm going to use the liquid ammonia. Obviously, this wants to now donate electrons. This has a negative charge, and it wants to donate electrons, so it's going to steal a proton from this liquid ammonia. charge over here. But we still have an unpaired electron on the left-hand carbon. So, that's one by one. so far, so good? It turns out we're not ready for the water yet, I don't believe. Oh, that's my place. Is it just red since NH3 is so red because it's Let's a solvent, see. it's going to do it again? The next thing we're going to do is, so I guess we needed two equivalents of the sodium. Now, notice this is an unpaired electron here. Now we need to put in another sodium to donate another electron here. So now let's add another sodium with an unpaired electron. neutral sodium. It's donated another electron. So now where this used to be a neutral radical, now it has an extra, an extra electron and it's got a negative charge. So everyone see how we got to this? Mm
was wondering, would it maybe the OH neutral O come and attack the minus? No. Yeah, minuses don't get attacked. Okay, so it looks like we've already gotten the product that we want so far. By the way, what does it mean that we've numbered the steps like this? It means we're not going to add the water until this step is finished. So we don't need to worry about the water competing. We don't need to worry about the water competing because we're not going to add it until this step is finished. 